I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Hey dude, sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry to band practice today because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. No. Hey May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. Hey, hon? Yeah, mom? Come say hello, why don't ya? Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You were really tired. Oh, you look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I go for the... I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too, Mom. I said some stuff I didn't really mean to. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just... don't want to repeat of a few years ago. Hmm? I really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May? You okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still, like, putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. May, you need to go talk about school. So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. <laughs> Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some depth soothing, smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it, okay? Okay. When it came time to get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of a mortgage to take to make sure you were taken care of. Okay. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And... I just feel so stupid. They like the offer these they like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us and now they own the house and we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Aw, oh, man. We're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Sure! Alright, there's a man lying dead in the kitchen. 
Great way to start it off, Mom. With a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand. But no gun. Huh. Last thing. The dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? Or you should have... You should have been a detective, Mom. Yeah. I would have loved that. So, I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What, el what else is in the room, Mom? Normal stuff, refrigerator, microwave, silverware. Knives? No knife wounds, though. All right. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep. And I bet the murder weapons are stuck in the fridge, holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. Alright, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter, detective. You too, Inspector Mom. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Dad looks older. Still funny though. Meat! Go on, smelters. How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harvest. Saw some messed up shit that I really think was real. Then had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Want to hear a new poem? No, maybe. I want to hear a new poem. Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin or what is considered? What counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station shit <laughs> in November. All right. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Kra Shavosky. Yes, Elma? You're gonna break your neck someday. I will make sure you to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> Bigger than you. We should be covered. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. says I can go in the house. Nope. 
go in the house. Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name good at the company store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered his daddy experienced it firsthand. My boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather, a real bastard that boss, God forgive him, your grandfather runs out of the dance I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere and he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow. Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield. Then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Oh no, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, oh, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley. Past the A-OK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars flat, stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he... So, what happened with the car? Got turned away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. That's right. So, like I said, you got trouble, make your blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. Bet not. You gonna tell him? No. Seeker keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find some someday. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, and a lifetime of nights and things he did. What did you want to do with that is part of your story now. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Browski. It was good to hear about Granddad. Granddad was crazy. Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night? And didn't come back. Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. Okay. Uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. 